Hi guys and welcome to my first car vlog of 2017. So it's been a very long time since I've actually done a car vlog and the reason why I wanted to do it today was because I'm going to give you a little update about what's been going on because as you know I've had so many things that have been going wrong with loads of my stuff and my laptop pretty much went kaput and then my camera decided it was going to start breaking and yeah I've just pretty much had the worst like start to the year oh my jesus it's just been like so bad and to top it all off i have a cold and i've had a cold for quite a long time now i got it on sunday sunday was the day when i got my cold and it's still happening but it's not as bad now i mean i can't hear out of one of my ears and this morning i blew my nose and one of my ears popped and i was like oh no so yeah that wasn't the best Thing to happen to me but yeah I thought I'd give you an update on what's been going on with my laptop just because I found out this morning that I actually have an update because yesterday I was meant to get an update back from the people and it ended up being that they just didn't want to phone me back and I was like oh okay then that's really good so I was waiting for a phone call from them back because I phoned them and I was like what's going on with my laptop I I've had that I've given it to you like two weeks ago now and I still haven't heard anything back and um, yeah they were like yeah we're gonna go to the head office and we're gonna give you a phone call um, and this was yesterday and I didn't get a phone call um, and then I actually got a phone call from the head office today and um, yeah they basically tell me what's been going on apparently I need a new hard drive um, and I said to them I was like so how much is it gonna cost me to get my old hard drive back and they actually said to me they're like we send it back anyway so you're gonna get it when you get your new hard drive I was like okay then because if you remember in my last video I told you that they basically said to me if you want your old hard drive back it's going to cost you £120 for the new one as well as £120 for your old one and I was just like well I own my hard drive so why should I pay that much to get it sent back to me um, so yeah I just basically said to him um, I said how much is it going to cost altogether and he was like it's going to cost £160 um, for everything that's been going on with your laptop for us to fix it and stuff like that um, and then I said to him, I went, well, I just want to know why it's been so long because me and my partner were both told on the phone that it was going to take up to five working days. And I was like, well, I like gave it to you two weeks ago and it, I still haven't got it. And the guy actually apologised to me because this was the head office, so I've never spoken to him before. Um, and he actually apologised to me. He was like, I'm really sorry, they shouldn't have told you that because it takes up to 10 working days. Um, and I'm really sorry. He says, hold on one second. Um, I'm just going to check something for you. So he goes back and then he comes back on the phone. Um, and then he says to me, um, yeah, I've just um, spoken to someone and we're actually going to do you a better deal. We're going to give you some money off. Um, so the, for the whole entire thing, it's going to cost you £126. Plus when you go and collect it from your local store, um, you're going to get your £50 deposit back. So I was like, okay so i paid the 126 pounds this morning and i got um a text back from them saying we've ordered all your stuff you're gonna get your stuff um very soon the guy even said to me on the phone he was like if you pay for it now we're gonna get all the stuff to fix your laptop by the latest of tomorrow and then it's gonna start getting fixed um and i was like jolly good and this guy that i actually spoke to was so much more helpful than the other people and like uh, it's only now that i've been looking and actually seeing that um they actually have loads of bad reviews from the one that i went to and i actually said to the guy before because i was like if you pay for it today um we're gonna get the stuff and i said to him i was like as you can appreciate i work full time and it actually takes me longer than half an hour to get to the local store um and he was like no you can just pay it over the phone so i was like that is good um but yeah i've seen loads of reviews of people having their stuff fixed from them and needless to say they are pretty crap <laughs> So if I knew about that before, I wouldn't have actually gone to them. It was just because they were the only people that had appointments. Because the one in Birmingham, they didn't have any. And I technically wanted to go to the Apple one in Birmingham, but they didn't have any. So I just went to these ones. And honestly, I just need to say to you guys right now, if you ever need to get your Mac fixed and um, you live in the UK, do not go to Stormfront because they are bad. Like the only people that have told me what's actually going on is the head office. So, well, I've just been optimistic. I've been quite happy because, you know, it's gonna get sorted, but it's just taking a little bit too long. So I'm glad that it's getting sorted now and hopefully soon I can start making more videos. And on another positive note, 
I have um, tried my camera out and my camera isn't breaking anymore. I think it's, uh, I think it was something to do with my laptop. I think that's why my camera has sort of been a little bit annoying because I do put my camera onto my laptop when I do filming. And I think that was probably the reason why. Um, but yeah, I tried it out yesterday, did some recording um, just to see what it was like. And yeah, there's nothing wrong with it now. It seems to be working completely fine. So that's a positive thing. So I don't need to rush and get a new camera, but I am going to be getting a new camera because Neil, oh my God, he literally, he gets me presents that uh, I don't even know what goes on in his head. But every year for my birthday so far, he's either bought me a trip that we're gonna go to and we didn't end up going on it. So I pretty much haven't had a present from him for like the last like, what? three four years three years actually the last three years i haven't really had a present from him and this year bless him he actually bought me an external mic for my um camera and i have a canon 500d and if you guys have that camera you can't have an external mic on it there's no output for an external mic and i told him this before because i was going to get an external mic a couple of years ago and my camera is like six years old um, so I was going to actually get an external mic and I found out that it did work so I phoned him and was like I can't do an external mic on my camera and his sister has the same camera as me and I opened it up I was like Neil I can't use this but thank you for the present and he went no you can use it I was like no I can't he was like you have the same camera as my sister I was like yeah but you can't put a microphone in it and um yeah so i even got the manual down to prove it to him i was like see neil you can't put an external mic in it and he was like oh no he was like so what do you want me to do with it because it is actually an expensive one and he said to me i was like well i can either give you the money for it and you can put it towards a new camera um, or you can keep it and i said to him i was like well to be honest i'm gonna get a new camera anyway i said and i want an external mic so at the moment i can't use it but I will be able to use it soon. So I have two cameras that I'm looking at because I do have a 500D at the moment, which is like six years old and it's just, it's very old now. It doesn't even have autofocus, that's how old it is. Um, so I've been thinking about getting the 700D or the 750D. I'm leaning more towards the 750D. It is 100 pounds more than the 700, but it's got so many more things on it and I've seen that loads of YouTubers use it as well. And I've also seen that the autofocus is incredible on it and the camera. And to be honest, I just want something that's gonna last me for years. I mean, like I said, I've had this camera now for like six years and it's only just starting to sort of like go a bit uh. But I actually got that for my birthday years ago for my mum. She saved up and she bought it for me and it was 500 pounds when it first came out. Mind you, when I got it, I think it was about two years old and I got it in a giant set full of loads of things. So I got, um, I got a camera bag, I think. I also got a memory card. I got a manual. I got a DVD as well. Um, I think I got a Gorilla Pod, but I'm not too sure. Um, I got an extra lens. So I got the usual lens, and then I also got the macro lens as well, which was amazing because at the time I was doing photography, which is the reason why my mum bought me the camera. And my mum wasn't too worried actually when I said that I didn't want to do photography anymore because she knew that I did YouTube and she was like, you still get to use that your camera. Honestly, I'm just happy that you're using it. And um, yeah, I just want to know your thoughts, guys, because I just want to know which camera you think would probably be the best one for me to get. Or if there's any other recommendations that you have, just let me know as well. But I am leaning towards 700 and 750D because I've heard that they're really good. And I just want the quality of my videos to be a lot better. And yeah, I just want something that's gonna last me a long time. But everything else seems to be going good. Other than on Friday the 13th, when I went to London with Neil for my birthday, because it's my birthday on Thursday. And I just wanna say thank you to all you guys for my happy birthdays. It was lovely. I had a really nice day and it was really nice. And I just rested. It was just really good. Um, and then on the Friday and the Saturday, me and Neil ended up going to um, London. And the Friday the 13th was like the worst. Like literally, I lost my purse. I couldn't find it. Um, and I was like, oh my God, what's gonna happen? Someone's stolen my purse and blah, blah, blah. And then my mum ended up actually um, looking for it when um, she got home from work and she was like, Chloe, it's been on your bed. And I was like, oh my God. Honestly, I was like freaking out. So 
my mum managed to find it on my bed and yeah I burnt my hand right here I don't know if you can see it but it was a really bad burn on my hand and yeah it just wasn't good but I'm gonna do another car vlog just to give you guys another update just to let you know what's been going on and yeah I'll see you very soon in another car vlog and I hope you're doing really well and thank you so much for my subscribers hopefully soon I will get my laptop back and then I can um, say who's gonna be the giveaway winner and things like that because I can't look at the moment because I don't have my laptop and at the moment I am filming on my iPhone which is really annoying pretty much it's taken me ages to load anything but yeah I will be doing a lot more vlogs and I'll be doing so many more videos and I'll keep you updated on my Instagram as well I'll let you know when I do have my laptop back and yeah I'll see you very soon thank you to my subscribers and keep subscribing because there is going to be another huge giveaway at 5,000 subscribers and we're less than 1,100 away from that so make sure that you keep subscribing and share my page and I'll see you very soon guys bye